not only are you missing out, honey, but you're Oh my god! Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be a drive with me and a mukbang or mukbang. A mukbang. So I'm just now going back and looking at the drive with me part of my video, and I'm seeing that from the angle that I have my phone, my lashes look super over dramatic and crazy. And I just want y'all to know they are not that over dramatic and crazy. Okay, maybe they are kind of dramatic. I like dramatic lashes, but they're not as crazy as they look. Um, from that angle like I don't look crazy like I don't know maybe it's just me and I overanalyze things but my lashes look weird so I just want to know they don't look that weird so y'all don't have to you know be like girl is you wearing wings on your eyelids why is they so long well they are long but it's not as over dramatic as it looks okay okay so enjoy the video okay so I have to relocate because my phone fell and I didn't even turn that hard turning nice and slow so my phone doesn't fall just for y'all but okay like i was saying um it's saturday morning and i'm hungry sis so i'm gonna go get me some qdoba if y'all don't know what qdoba is it's a it's kind of like chipotle but <laughs> better um and i'm willing to argue well now i don't argue with y'all but yeah qdoba is definitely better than chipotle and that's period so yeah um I don't really got no plans for today. I'm supposed to do my grandma's here later, but she been sending me off lately, so. I don't know. Um, I was supposed to be um, doing her hair yesterday, but I mean, it's not like she's sending me off for no reason. It's like, she has valid reasons. So yesterday she was just too tired. And today, hopefully she's not too tired because I don't have any other plans for today. Saturday. I was hoping to go over there, do her hair, eat good, because y'all know grandma's be cooking, honey. And I asked her for some pork chops. Y'all, her pork chops be, ugh, they smack. But yeah, if I do go over there, the only downside to that is if I do go over there, I'm going to eat extremely good. Like, eat like crazy, y'all. And I don't need to be eating that much because I've been going, I've been doing a lot of eating lately. And it's not like, I'm not big at all. I'm only one. I was 133 at first, and now I'm 137. And it's only been like a week. So that's what the problem is. Like, girl, I need to slow down. So I'm trying to slow down, y'all. I don't know. I'm, I just be so hungry. Like, woo, and all this good Chicago food. I've been going crazy because at school, huh, I, don't, I don't even want to think about the school food right now. But back since we talking about school i am so excited because it's my sophomore year for one for two i just changed my um schedule i picked an entirely new major it's now speech pathology and um i have a new schedule and my schedule is so much better than it was before like before my schedule was just all over the place. Like I have a class at 8 a.m. Then a break till one o'clock. Like I'm the type of person where I don't need no breaks in between classes. Cause baby, I'm gonna come up with some excuse knowing that it's wrong and not go to class. So we don't need that. So I have a new schedule where I have like back-to-back -back classes. Some two days, I think Tuesdays and Thursdays, they start at eight and Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they start at 10. So that's cool. And every day my classes end at 1 o'clock. So like last class at 12.50, but you know, 1 o'clock basically. So that's just really good for me because one, I'm gonna be able to have a job and like have time between like, you know, I could tell them like I'm available at four to close and I'm gonna have time to catch up on whatever work I need to do because I'm gonna have that little one to three, 30-ish break where I can do homework or I can take a nap, honey. And y'all know, them before work naps would be really needed because I can go. So I'm gonna go. Anyways, them before work naps would be needed. Oh my God! I believe I was talking about my schedule before I was rudely interrupted. 
interrupted. Um, yeah, so I have a break between 1 and 3.30 where I can do whatever I want and go to work. And, you know, I'm not going to work every single day. So some days I'm just going to have that time to myself to catch up on some work or chill or be do hood rat stuff for my hood rat friends. And I'm ready. And this is also going to be my first apartment. Hopefully this phone don't fall. I'm trying to hold it a little bit. Okay, yeah. So, um... Yeah, I can do hood rat stuff with my hood rat friends, or I can be studious, or I can take a nap, or I can eat, or I can, you know what I need to do? I can go to the gym. That's what I need to start dabbling in, because, honey, this body needs to be snatched. Snatched. But, yeah. So, I'm extremely excited about getting my first apartment right. Well, it's not like an apartment to myself. It's an on-campus apartment, and I'm going to share with another student. But it's an apartment. I'm going to be sharing my bathroom again. And if you watch my freshman advice video, you know I low-key have a problem with sharing my bathroom. I've never had to do it. I did it for a few months freshman year, and after that, I have my own bathroom. So this will be my first time sharing a bathroom ever, ever in life. Actually, I take that back. When we lived... In the city when I was younger, I did not have my own bathroom, but I was like six. So does it really matter? No. But moral of the story, I've had my own bathroom since I was like eight. So I'm 19 now. It's been a long time coming and I just don't know if I can do it. And I'm not trying to sound like no spoiled brat or nothing, but people be dirty and I'm not trying to clean up after nobody. I've seen the worst of the worst, y'all. I'm not even gonna go into detail, but I've seen it all, and I just can't deal with that. You know, I don't understand why do people come to complete stops before they go over train tracks? Like, sis, can you please go? Just slow down, you don't have to stop. Like, this girl in front of me just completely stopped before the tracks, then slowed down. Like. Ma'am, some of us are hungry. It's one o'clock and I was supposed to be eight, but my best friend overslept and we were supposed to be doing this video together. But we was out all last night, y'all. We had so much fun. We went to the skating rink and I haven't been skating in like forever. Okay, cause we have to do better with these poles. But anyways, so I haven't been skating since like maybe 2000. 14 maybe no i went i went on a date kind of a date it wasn't much of a date he was just there put my phone back on and it didn't okay cool um so i went skating please don't hit me what are you doing okay wow on the phone y'all have to stop being on the phone and driving i'm such a hypocrite i'm not on the phone though i'm just talking so i'm paying attention all eyes on the road he on the phone looking around like it's, it's unfortunate if you would have ruined both of our cars you would have been paying for <laughs> both of our cars but yeah so um what was i even talking about i get off topic so fast hopefully y'all don't like clown me in the comments for talking about 12 things at once but i'm trying y'all i am truly trying anyways um i feel like i was talking about skating so Y'all, let me tell you what happened. So, I haven't gone skating in a really long time. I'm pretty sure I just said that. And, um, I started back yesterday. And it wasn't too bad. At first, it was a little shaky. I was wobbling. Couldn't really keep my balance. But I didn't fall on my own at all. Like, the y'all, I'll get there. I'll get there. It looks like my lashes falling off, but I can't tell. So, anyways, um, I wish I could put this in there. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so, mm, no, that's freaky, baby. shaky because I couldn't really keep my balance that well I did not fall on my own the only time I ended up falling is when I was knocked over so let me tell y'all the story so me and my best friends are skating we having fun having a good time I've gotten to the groove of like skating again and I was having 
fun, y'all. I'm yeah, I like this. I'm watching everybody do their little tricks, and you know, I'm like, you know what? I need to get like that. I'm gonna try to hold my phone while I turn. If you've been to the skating rink, you know, like, if you drive in normal, I mean, not driving, if you're skating normal, like, at a normal pace, the people who are really good skaters, like, got their own skates, like, you know, they're going to zoom past you, try to get through you in weird ways and all that. So, this one dude, before I say this, nothing against big people, not trying to, like, sound mean or anything, but he was quite big. He tried to get through me and my best friend and instead of getting through us he knocked me over he knocked he was going full speed and like straight knocked me onto the ground so the first time i laughed it off of course i was in a little bit of pain slightly embarrassed loki wanted to slap him but it was cool i laughed it off i'm like no it's fine it's fine he turned around he picked me back up like instead of just giving me a hand this man picked me back up i'm like sir but what do y'all say so then, second time, this is about two hours later, it was, the skating was over with, like, it was about 12 o'clock, it ends at 12 in the morning, so it's about 12 o'clock, and I'm getting off the floor, mind you, I made sure, because they be coming fast, I be looking both ways, <laughs> when I'm finna get off the floor, because they're not finna knock me over, so, I'm being cautious, looking both ways, and I looked, nobody was coming, nobody was coming close enough where I could possibly get hit, so I start heading on off the floor i'm over there if, i don't even know how to explain this to y'all if I'm, I'm gonna go online and look for a picture so i can show y'all what i was standing by well like skating towards trying to get off the floor and this same big dude comes full speed and knocks me into the side of a corner wall like it was a corner like this he knocked me into it right there on my hip yes he did and he was going full speed he's about 300 pounds no he wasn't 300 pounds somewhere. he was about maybe about a good two some huge a big man steady skating into me this is your second time sir so he knocks me so hard i sit there because i low-key don't know what happened i don't even know what hit me i'm like did i faint i'm sitting here like what i can't even feel my legs right now i'm like what is going on so I turn around and here come the same dude that knocked me over the first time. Y'all, he came so fast, I did not see him coming. This man knocked me so fast. Y'all, I'm sitting on the ground trying to figure out what just happened. I'm not playing, G. He knocked the wind out of me. So I'm sitting on the ground. <laughs> I'm looking around like, wait, y'all just seen that? <laughs> so I turn around, here come the same big dude come back like i'm so sorry i'm so sorry at this point i caught an attitude i'm like no because he tried to pick me back i'm, I'm, I'm like no nah, no nah, don't even touch me G. this is your second time running into me this is your second time he's like i'm sorry i'm sorry it's something i can do i'm like no don't touch me just so that was that i was so irritated i was ready to go so i mean at the end of the day it was time to go anyways but you know if you've been to the skating rink you know when it hit 12 o'clock everybody don't immediately stop skating people be skating till about 12 30. so i wasn't gonna like officially stop i just wanted to get off the floor for a minute because my legs were starting to hurt and i just bit my tongue really hurt but yeah so i was just so pissed off and right now my hip hurts so bad like if i couldn't walk i would honestly believe that he broke my hip or dislocated my hip or something like but he didn't because i can walk or can you walk with a dislocated hip? I don't know, but y'all, it hurt so bad. Like, I don't know. It, it, it just blew me. Seriously, just blew me. But, okay, pick a lane, sis. All right. So, um, yeah. I plan on going to the skating rink a lot more, though, because I had so much fun, y'all. just don't understand. And I want to learn all the little tricks people be doing. Like, really, like, like, I don't know. It's just so cute and then not cute it was just so cool and then the dudes there y'all they was fine except for the one that kept knocking me senseless he wasn't fine but they were so fine and skating so smooth i'm just like wow but yeah so after that we went to ihop ate good low-key got a job but i don't know if i want to work there like 
Like, I'm currently looking for a job because, like I said in the beginning of the video, I do hair. If y'all didn't know, if you don't know, that means you don't follow me on social media. And if you don't follow me on social media, then what are you doing, sis? What are you doing? So, stop for a minute, pause this video, Scri subscribe, subscribe, pause this video, subscribe, and then um, go, go to Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. My Instagram and my Twitter are the same. They're they love Brianna with two E's in the love. So it's T-H-E-Y-L-O-V-E-E-B-R-I-A-N-A. -E 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 that is my Twitter and my Instagram. My Snapchat is old snap is Bree. Um, don't make fun of the name. I did that in the sixth grade, but it's O H H S N A P I T S B R E E. And yeah, go go look at that. And if you're in the Chicagoland area, I do hair, but I only do faux locks. And I can do passion twists right now, but I'm still like, I'm just learning how to do it. So I would probably charge like 30 as long as you provide the hair. But yeah, let me hold my phone so it don't fall. trying to like I'm not trying to stop doing hair but I'm trying to like not make that my only source of income because if you do hair and you're not like big you know that doing hair is not like a consistent thing you know like people can cancel your car can break down like my most one of my most recent clients I was supposed to go to her not only does she stay about an hour and 15 away but I was gonna make that drive anyways because I know the people behind me are pissed I'm turning so slow because I don't want my phone to go but um she stays about an hour and 15 minutes away and I was gonna make the drive like honestly I don't have a problem with driving I'm not one of the people that don't like driving I like to drive so I don't have a problem with it but my car on the other hand said uh-uh 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 no 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 uh-uh 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 my car was like sis no so please pick up my anyways so um Scoot over right here. Dang, that was a good parking space and they just took it. Is there one right here? It is. Park right here. I found my fault, but at this point it doesn't matter. We're here. Am I too close to them? I'm not. Is this handicap? I hope not. So am I moving? <laughs> nah, if it's handicap, I'm gonna move. But um, it's not handicap though, so okay. So dang, I forgot what I was talking about again. Oh, um, she stayed an hour and 15 minutes away, and my car was, like, tripping. I got in the car, my check engine light was on, and it was running really weird. Like, right now, it's running hard, but it always does that. It's some work that I need doing, but it's drivable. <laughs> but, um, what was I going to say? It was running, like, loud. Like, it was making a noise. And I'm like, is you going to make it the whole ride? Because we ain't going to make this ride if we're going to be stranded on the e-way. Then we ain't gonna do that. So, yeah. I'm gonna go in Qdoba and get my food. I will be right back. I'm supposed to be getting Qdoba, but I had it yesterday and I just went in there and I'm like, nah, I'm not feeling it because I'm low key allergic to one of the seasonings they put on their chicken and their steak. And I get it anyways, but I don't feel like risking my life today. I couldn't even breathe when I did that yesterday. So, I got something called Mod Pizza. I'm probably not gonna eat the whole thing. Hopefully, I don't eat the whole thing. Knowing me, sometimes I like to go a little crazy. I got sausage and bacon pizza, and hopefully, it's good because I usually get sausage and pepperoni. But you know what? We're trying new stuff today. Look at that. I love my pizza. If y'all don't know what that is, it's like it's all flatbread pizza where you can have thicker crust if you want to, but the point is to be healthy. So. I don't know why I got it so far away from me. But yeah. Bro. It's hair in my food. That's the risk you take when you go and eat out. But it wasn't in my food food. It was actually on the box. That's the only reason why I'm not going to trip. But yeah. 
bad y'all, I got caught. So anyways, why is my light on? Oh, it is. Ow. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is my plans for this summer. Um, so far, it's only June. Well, it's the end of June, so it's gonna be July. Okay, um, so the first thing I wanted to talk about were my plans for the summer. Um, it's only June, well, it's the end of June, so it's gonna be July, and it's gonna be July, and I'm looking for a job this late in the summer. Probably not gonna get hired by anybody because I'm about to go back to school, but. I'm doing something that's not right, but I'm going to do it anyways. I've been telling people that I'm not going to school so they can hire me. So, since I'm doing that, I folded my pizza over. Since I'm doing that, I have an interview with Ross. I don't know when yet, but coming soon. Hopefully, I get the job. Before I was working at Ross, I mean, what? Speaking of into existence, hey. But before I was um, jobless, unemployed, like right now, I work for Harold's and Harold's is like the chicken place in Chicago. It's really popular. Couldn't do it no more. Not gonna say too much, just no. Couldn't do it no more. So I quit that before I even got a new job. But since I do hair, it's not like I'm broke. It's more of like I'm just not making what I'm used to making. And I get my money, like I don't get, I get my money spaced out. Like I get money for each client that I do. I don't get like my money on a specific payday, which causes me to spend money quicker, which makes me run out of money quicker. So I'm needing for money more than I usually am and I don't like it anymore. And doing hair isn't as consistent, isn't consistent enough to be a full-time only job type thing for me because I'm not that big. Like people like, you know, celebrity stylists or people who are real popular, it might be like it's okay for them because they have consistent clients coming in so that's a consistent flow of money but for somebody like me who's like just doing this on their spare time it's not it's not working i need money so i've been going crazy with that pinch i didn't apply to ross target tj max walmart olive garden um, what's that place? Pot Belly. Um, Pablo. I hop. And that's it so far, but. I have a lot of job experience, so somebody should call me back. Like, hopefully, you know, if not. I'm not even going to say if not because we're hoping for the best, okay? I thought I wasn't recording for a second. I was going to be really sad, but I am. So it's cool. But yeah. Back to my summer plans. Um, I got to get a job. I need to save up all my money because, like I said, in the drive with me, I'm going to have an apartment next year. And. I'm trying to deck it out. Like, the apartment I'm staying in is on campus, so it's not like no cute little apartment. It looks kind of run down, raggedy, and not the cutest, so. But at least I got my own room. That's, that's a plus, I got my own room. I mean, it's not too bad. I'm gonna have my car, so. I can drive back and forth to campus and work. Well, I'm gonna be on campus, but the way it's set up is like, it's still a decent minute away from the actual buildings where our classes are, so. Yeah. Next thing I wanna talk about is like, just healthy,
I'm making a mess, but she was just all up in my car, like, sis, hello? Yeah. Anyways, I'm trying to go on a healthy journey because it's like, like I said, I'm not big at all. To most people, they would consider me on the smaller side, but I'm just not content. Like, it's like the places where I have fat at, I don't like it. Like, the way I'm built, I'm about 136. I was 133 at the beginning of this week. I ate like a man all week now. I'm 136, but as soon as I drop the kids off at the pool, I'm sure I'll be back where I was. So, <laughs> if you get what I'm saying. But anyways, so, it's like, I don't look 133. Like, I mean, I'm 5'2", so being 130-something is not, like, as noticeable as if I was, like, 5'5". Five, five. So, I feel like... Honestly, the number on the the number on the scale doesn't matter. It's like really like how I feel about my body, and I feel like I don't have to like do too much. It's just like little stuff I want to fix, like my love handles. I hate them. Like I started getting them in like seventh or eighth grade, and I've hated them the whole time. Like I got it around there, and they weren't as bad, but I didn't like them because I'm like I look wide. I look. I don't like it, so I'm gonna need this to be on my face. It's hot in here. So, anyways, um, I didn't like it, so yeah. But now that I've like gotten older and gained more weight from when I was in seventh and eighth grade, I just I don't like it. So. I plan on like slowing down with eating, definitely. Like, maybe once or twice a day. And when I do eat, don't eat too much of this starch and junk food. And go to the gym about three times a week, do more cardio. And hopefully, that gets where I need to be. Because I'm on a self love journey. And, you know, I'm learning to get more comfortable with myself, definitely. But it's some things I still want to change. And there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. I just ate something spicy. I'm allergic to spicy. Mm. Like if I drink something right after I accidentally eat something spicy or purposely eat something spicy, nothing happens. So I should be fine. If not, I did it for y'all. No, I'm just playing, but um, yeah. So hopefully, like I'll have that like start working now and get my diet together. Um, one thing that I love, I don't know if that's a healthy thing or what. Like if it's healthy that I'm doing this or that I do this, but I will substitute an entire meal for a smoothie and I'll get filled up quicker, less of the unhealthy stuff, and it's good, like, my car door just unlocked, somebody can walk right up in here, but anyways, so yeah, I'm gonna um, have my little, what is it called, nutri or is it called Nutri-System, nutri -system. what is it called, oh, it's like a little blender that's like, and then, and then you press it down and twist it. So yeah, I'm gonna have that in school, and I'm gonna go grocery shopping a lot. Get all my little fruits. I love eating. This, um, eating what? I love. I do love eating. Okay, but I love getting smoothies with like pineapple, strawberries, spinach. I know that sounds nasty, but strawberries, spinach, and bananas. It's a hit, baby. But yeah, bananas. Mangoes, mango, pineapple, oh, y'all, it's so good, and it's like, it's good. 
but you do have to be careful because a lot of fruits have sugars in them. I mean, it's natural sugars, but at the end of the day, it all turns into fat if it's not being used for energy. And if y'all didn't know that, fun fact. So, same thing for um, starches like bread, potatoes, rice, pastas, like stuff like that. That all turns into fat if you're not burning it off. Like, that's why I like basketball players sometimes the night before a game, they'll have a whole bunch of spaghetti because the pasta can. Um, the pasta turns into carbs, which turns into energy that they're going to be using because, you know, they hoop, they can run up and down the court. But it, like a regular human being like me, who barely likes to run up and down the stairs, barely likes to walk out the door. No, I'm just playing with that. <laughs> Am I playing? Not really. Um, a person like me who runs out of breath going up and down the stairs, baby, starches are not our friend. I mean, sure, a generous amount, but... Don't be overdoing it. Like, what I'm doing right now is unhealthy. I'm sitting here in the car eating a pizza by myself. And at the end of the day, I don't regret it. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to regret it. But as of right now, no, because it's pretty good. I'm sitting here talking. I'm forgetting to eat. But, yeah. So, back to this little self-love journey I'm on. Um... What really made me realize that I need to start appreciating, focusing, loving myself is shout out the person who just called me in the middle of the video. But yeah. So back to what I was saying, what made me um like realize I needed to go on a self love journey is like I just a lot of thinking and like all the toxic situations I've been in and like just a lot of like stuff I do like I do little stuff I have a lot of like small insecurities like it's stuff that people like who even thinks of that like yeah stuff like that or like who even cares about that but if you know me you know I'm right there like it's a lot of stuff that I'm like slick insecure about that I really shouldn't be so um trying to you know love myself more and appreciate myself more and fix the things that I can fix so I'm not so self-conscious because I'm too young to be so self-conscious about stuff that is going to get worse as I age like right now all the things that I'm like self-conscious about are like not even like like I I know they're not really bad but deep down inside it's like yeah. So, yeah, and the part about the like toxic situations, I feel like it's a lot of things that I wouldn't even like put myself through or let myself even go through if I had more like love for myself. Like I'm not saying I don't love myself at all, because I do, but it's like I need to, you know, reevaluate myself. Like, honey, you're not up here, you're up here. And if somebody's not trying to meet you there, they can go. For one, for two, you need to realize that you're up there, like all that. I don't even know if I'm, I'm explaining it well enough, but this summer been dry, I love you. Like, I would go to the mall a few times with my friends, but after so many times, you didn't bought everything that's cute, and you just like, now what? It hasn't been warm enough in Chicago to go swimming, unfortunately, like mother nature do better. Like, girl. It's summer officially, and it's it was cold yesterday. Like sis has to do better. I'm gonna go to the beach, but it's not happening. So I'm actually done eating. Like I ate a lot though. Thumbnail. Yeah. So I'm done now. I only ate about I don't know how much I ate, but it was good though. So. Yeah, that's the end of my very first mukbang. Let me know how I did. Like, I'm I'm sure I'm not like a pro because I just now like this is my first time and I honestly had no interest in doing a mukbang until my best friend Yanni brought it up to me. Like she said, like we should do that, and I'm like, good idea, sis. So that's the one who I'm supposed to be doing it with. My best friends Yanni and Amari, but. Amari overslept and Yanni has something to do and I got something to do later so my grandma's here. I was talking about the beginning of the video. But yeah, so 
we didn't end up doing it but we're gonna link up most likely either tomorrow or sometime this week and we're gonna record a challenge my very first challenge and it's going to be stay tuned to find out so anyways thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoy like comment subscribe leave me suggestions in the comments down below and yeah i'm trying to reach 200 so share my channel videos link all that and i will see y'all next time